welcome back guys to the Spurgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you. So we come to the end of the series on summer blends, ending with Sutliff's Pina Colada. Now there are certainly other blends we could throw on this list. Some I even purchased to go in the series, but it needs to come to an end and I'll just uh, wait for maybe next year to continue on with a list. But we're gonna end with Pina Colada by Sutliff. And as always, and if you're wondering, well, why so many Sutliff blends? Well, because I bought from tobaccopipes.com, which hosts loads of Sutliff blends, and they are bulk blends, meaning they're inexpensive, they're easy to get your hands on. And that was kind of in mind for this series. I wanted blends that uh, were predominantly bulk, not all of them, but predominantly, uh, because that's not something I've covered so much in the past. And most are aromatic because of the type of aromas and flavors that we think of with summer. So as always, I'm going to cover the background of the blend. I'll give you a look at it and then I'll light it up and we'll talk more about it. So I'm actually going to justforhim.com for a uh, description of this blend because I couldn't find it anywhere else. And it says, like the drink, this medium bodied tobacco has a coconut and rum flavor with just a touch of pineapple. I don't know if that is from Sutlet themselves, that description, but it does go well with what I've gathered from this blend and just smoking it, so we're gonna go with it. But then going on to tobaccoreviews.com, we get the rest of the information. Uh, we do read, of course, that it is branded and blended and manufactured by Sutlet, uh, blended by Carl McAllister, I should say. Uh, the series is Sutlet Private Stock. Blend type is, of course, an aromatic. Contents, burly and then unknown. Uh, flavoring is alcohol or liquor, pineapple, and rum. The cut is a coarse cut. Packaging bulk, as I mentioned, country, U.S., currently available. As always, don't know if this blend is outside of the U.S. I'm going to assume it's not. But for those who are in the United States, you'll probably find it in other tobacco, uh, brick and mortar stores, as well as you can find it on tobaccopipes.com, which is where I got it for $2.84 just for one ounce, and you can get more going on from there. Sure, it's available on other online retailers, but since uh, tobaccopipes.com is owned or run by Sutliff, they list all of their uh, their bulk blends, so it was just an easy place to get it, at least for myself. So with all of that background cover, let's go ahead and get a look at the blend. Well, guys, here we are with Pina Colada, and it's probably not surprising to hear that the smell is excellent. It does really smell like a pina colada in a bag. Um, but as we pour it out, we can see some of the distinctions in the leaf. It did only mention burley and others with miscellaneous. Looks like there's some Cavendish here, which is gonna probably add some extra sweetness to the blend. Uh, some lighter leaf, I would just say that's bright Virginia. And then of course we do have the burley. Uh, it is about perfect on the moisture, maybe a bit on the wet side. If I'll leave it up to you, to the person, to determine if they need to dry it out. I didn't and it smoked fine, but sometimes it comes up to preference. But uh, yeah, it's easy to pack. It is like a coarse cut you know, mixture between a ribbon and, and a little bit of a chunkier bits. So it uh, doesn't really matter. Easy to pack, easy to certainly light. All right, so I have it loaded up in my pipe. I'm near the end of the bowl. I probably will finish it in the, in the rest of this video. So I'll light it up and we'll talk more about it. So uh, I, I really want to get into my ratings and all that, but I want to hold off. Uh, let me just hit on, let's start with like the natural tobacco flavors, things like that. Uh, burley, certainly there, not, not heavy. You're not getting a lot of the natural uh, characteristics of, of the leaves in this blend. Uh, it's, it's mostly going to come in with the flavorings. You, you do get maybe a bit of a, a, a woody nuttiness from the burleys. And I think the other is, is Bright Virginia's. I, I, you get a little bit of grassy, citrusy notes. And it looks like <clears throat> it looks like you do see it in the blend itself. So it is Bright Virginia's, I, I, would, I would be confident in saying. So let's move on though to what we really come to aromatics for, and that is the, the flavorings. And boy, this is without question a pina colada blend. I mean, you, you taste these, these flavors. Coconut is most evident uh, to me in this. It does say pineapple, and I do get pineapple as well. Uh, but, but yeah, just real aware coconut flavor 
even if I didn't know the name of this blend, I would know most definitely it's tropical, but I would even say I could pick out coconut uh, and, and maybe even pineapple. The rum, I wanted to just say alcohol. I think rum is is uh, is evident as well. Not not as strong, but you do get that alcoholic, uh, maybe a spiced rum flavor taste going on in in the background. Uh, but man, it it has a sweet sweet coconut, sweet pineapple flavor. It's very basic. Like there's there's not a lot of notes for me to cover here on the flavorings uh, because it's very straightforward. Uh, it's it, it if you like pinot coladas or if you just like even if you don't drink alcoholic drinks, but you like the flavors of coconut or pineapple, you're, you're gonna like this blend. I think it's easy to pick them out, uh, even compared to like some of the other summer series blends I've done uh, with Montego Bay, Mango, Tropic Cavendish. Uh, all of those maybe had a tropic taste to it, but this one is just clear, clearly uh, a, a, a tropical coconut pineapple taste. It really does taste like the drink. And I think it comes out stronger than those other blends do as well. So for you beginners, I think you're gonna taste this quicker than maybe those others. Like those others, well, in all aromatics, what's the issue? You, you, it's gonna be quick to heat the pipe up. You're gonna lose the flavors that come through the smoke. That, that's just going to be the, your, your biggest battle in, in smoking a pipe. I feel like this one's gonna be easier on you. So I would, I don't normally recommend aromatics for beginners, but this is one I would recommend. I think you're gonna get enough out of it. Uh, I think it's gonna be easier on you than maybe others. So uh, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into comparisons and ratings, because I don't have much more to say on flavorings. Um, it is a pina colada in a bowl, uh, in, a, in a pipe bowl. So comparisons, uh, it is gonna be similar to some of these other blends I've mentioned. I mean, obviously just because they're tropical, right? So Tropic Cavendish, uh, the, the mango, uh, maybe even Selim's, Selim's Green to some extent because Selim's Green has some of these, uh, these notes as well. But uh, it, it does stand apart in the fact that I feel like this is truly coconut, truly even some pineapple. Like it has that creaminess of a pina, pina colada. You know, pina colada has that uh, creamy tropic taste, the coconut flavors, this has it. And so I'm really finishing off the best for last, at least to me, in this series. So in all these blends I cover for the summer series blend, at least in 2024, uh, this is my favorite. Uh, it's, it's most evident, it's, it, you know, when it comes to smoking experience, it's, it doesn't get hot, it's not goopy, uh, I, I don't experience like a tongue bite, maybe it's too, compared to some others. Uh, overall, none of them really were hard in that regard, but this one certainly isn't. Uh, it's. Like the others, it's fairly inexpensive, um, easy to get your hands on, uh, flavor's great, the aroma's phenomenal. I mean, they all are, but this one really smells like pina colada and the flavor is, is there with it. So uh, I give this one an 8.5 to 9 out of 10. It's, it's a really easy one for me. So uh, out of all of these, if you're just really tight on money and you could only afford one out of this whole series, this is one I would recommend. I think uh, you'll be very satisfied with it. If you like these flavors, if you like aromatics, uh, you, you'll be content with it. So uh, there you have it. Before I end though, if you have summer blends, like blends, whether they're aromatics or not, that you just, you just think summer when you smoke them, add them below. Because again, there's loads I didn't cover. There's many blends, non-aromatic blends that would go well with this time of year. Uh, just an easy one is Orlick Golden Slice. I didn't cover it because I'd reviewed it not long ago. Uh, but there are other villains like that that could be thrown in here as well. So please leave them below. And again, I'll probably cover it this topic and add more to the list next year. If uh, I already put some away for next year that I haven't even tried. So uh, I'll be looking forward to pulling them out uh, later on and uh, seeing how they compare. Well guys, that's all I have this, uh, this, for this video. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're blessed. And we'll talk to you very soon.